Well, it started with uh, when I came back here in 1980. I was just very interested in architecture, actually, always. But I saw the potential of Utica to use, you know, to utilize all this space. I mean, there's no dearth of old warehouse space everywhere. I did this little watercolor ink drawing with the intention of sending it to the then president of Landmarks, Frank Presbyson. And he responded with a grant. It was created for the Utica sesquicentennial and the actual date that Utica became a city at City Hall. There were five former mayors of Utica and uh, we put this in a time capsule along with several other things from 1982 with the intention of digging this thing up 50 years from then. Well, we started here in Utica, actually, you know, and uh, that's where we began. I always love puppets, you know, like just marionettes even. My dad took us to a marionette show at Proctor High School years ago. It was Davy Jones's Locker, and I was so inspired by, by that that I always, uh, I, I just love puppets. But it was really by accident, you know, we never really planned. I'm a fine arts major, I'm a painter by, by trade, studied painting, and uh, Scott's a graphic designer. I just fell in love with foam rubber, even though I was trained as a graphic designer in typography and paste ups and mechanicals for the advertising industry. So then I, I got into typography in a lettering style and I ended up being a sign painter here in Utica. I did all kinds of signage here in Utica. And I found foam rubber and I started making masks and puppets. And Will and I made these masks so I made them and then Will, Will was with me and we went to a club in Rome and we won first prize and that's what made us think wow this could be lucrative and then that love of the craft foam and fabrics over the foam plastic coatings came later and it is what it is now so we took the craft and made it all our own we started in two storefronts we began Geppetto on the Lower East Side of Manhattan on 8th Street between Avenue C and D in an old yarmulke shop and uh, by 1990, we needed more space. We moved to Brooklyn. We are insane. <laughs> we are insane, no question about it. And the deeper we go into it, you know, and the more fun we have. Like Scott was saying, you know, he knew he had something when he, we were just laughing. We, we were just laughing and giggling constantly about what we're doing. And I think that's an indication that you're on the right track, you know, that you're having fun with it still after 37 years. We do a lot for... PR firms and marketing campaigns. Guerrilla marketing is big. Costumes that go out on the street and they sell a product and they're in your face. It seems to be the advertising today. We are inspired by Jim Henson's work, but it wasn't just Jim Henson. There was Sid and Marty Croft from 60s, H&R Puff stuff. And then just the love of puppets and being in costume, which started with the incredible craze of called Halloween. We've worked with many Muppeteers in New York City, and I never really wanted to join the clan. I just wanted to be something different. We ended up going into more costumes and props. So we created our own style, our own look. In some ways, it's three-dimensional illustration. It really ultimately depends on the client that we're working with, because we wear many hats in terms of what our clients, everything from uh, television to film to display, but um, primarily costumes for television, stage, film, and uh, props. The arts still survive, and you can make a living on your art if you stay with it and you have good proper guidance. And in Utica, I had incredible guidance and support, oh my God, with between teachers, colleges, parents, friends. In Utica, I want to inspire with the craft here, like many people did when I was young in Utica, New York. That's what I want to do is give back a little bit. When I was driving around with Will to find a new space in Utica, I saw this building, I saw the phone number on it. We called a week later, we were signing a lease. And uh, it's nice to be in an industrial building similar to the ones we've had all the years in New York City. So Utica's hopping. There's more movement that I've seen here just within the last since I've been here, just you know, little, not even four years, than I've seen in decades. There's more. It seems to be more happening, and more energy. It's more, more vitality and more uh, interest and creativity. We, you know, more than ever. We were uh, in a building in New York where they literally sold it out from underneath us, and we were just tired of just being chased by realtors, you know, and by developers, and you know, all those years. So we just said, let's just do something simpler kind of just pull it together and 
bring it to a place that we can still do, and now with the internet, the way things are, you can do this just about anywhere, you know, which has really changed our format tremendously because in the past, clients came to us and we felt it was necessary to be in the city, but we've worked it out. We're still working with many of those same clients. We love it here. It's home. And all we had to do was just go home. That's what I always say to everybody. Just, just, went, just go home.